Where's Captain Toad? Oh god, Bowser! Don't worry, Toad, I got- oh. There you go. Come on, Captain Toad, you're supposed to be fearless, not be scared by a cardboard Bowser. Come on. Because every great hero needs a weakness, right? Apparently Captain Toad's is even the visage of Bowser. Hello, hello everybody, my name is Nuke and welcome to, back to Super Mario 3D World. Welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. Uh, we're gonna unlock this Bowser statue here. This will happen throughout the game, you'll just get these random... Bowser statue blockages that you need green stars to get past. And usually, they're... Uh, sub subvertible. Like, I could go to this level here, and then it just keeps going from there. I don't have to finish both of these levels. But we're doing a completionist run, so we're gonna do that anyway. And it's weird because sometimes it'll just be like a Bowser level that uh, you can just go around, and sometimes it's just the castle that she needs green stars for. I don't know what decides what is what, but whatever. Puff Prod Peaks. Okay. So I hate this level. I hate every level like it because of this feature right here. Completely using touch controls. I don't like that. I don't like touch controls. I don't. <coughs> excuse me. I don't like touch controls, I don't like motion controls, I'm sitting here talking crap about touch controls, and now I got a frog in my throat. It's not, it's not that, that it's hard to control, I just don't see a point to it. And this is just me complaining, because I played the Wii a lot as a kid, and I got all of my fill of motion controls on the Wii. And I don't want to see them again, but Nintendo insists on putting them in literally everything. I don't like it. And I'm old, and I'm going to complain about it. <laughs> and I usually play this with a controller that doesn't have touch controls. So this level is usually kind of difficult like that. And there's not a whole lot of these levels, so I don't know, I really shouldn't complain, but I'm going to. <laughs> Like on the on the Wii U, I'm sure it was fine because you had like the gamepad you can use the touch controls on. But, uh, this version does not have that. It's fine if you're like uh, I, I could go on about it. <laughs> Excuse me. I could go on about it, but I'm not going to. I've made my point, kind of. Probably not really. <laughs> One up central. Fire flower that I neither want nor need. Also, here's a here's a fun tip I forgot to mention earlier. When you're climbing a wall in a cat suit, if you don't want to keep climbing, you can just press the crouch button and you'll fall off. You don't have to jump off. Sometimes it's better to just fall off than it is to jump off, because sometimes you can just jump off to your demise, and that's not good for anybody. Uh, I was going to try to be uh, clever with it, like jump over the platform and then extend it beneath me, but it uh, didn't quite work out that way. I'll be honest though, usually I have problems with the motion controls on my Switch, like I don't know if it's like my bedroom or something. I missed the stamp somewhere. Huh. I guess we'll have to do the level again because I have no idea where the stamp is. Like if I, if I were to play like, uh, maybe not so much Mario Party, but I know like Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, I tried to play that. And you have to, like, make the throwing motion and throw Pokeballs, and I could never get it to work. Like, the, the calibration was always so off, and I could never fix it. I was like, I oh, will play this in tablet mode. Thanks again. Yeah. 
we can actually find the stamp this time. I was probably talking and not paying attention like a doofus. Uh, oh, pff, it's down here. Of course. And done and dusted. Okay. Now we can just kind of spear our way through this level. Because you do have to finish the level. Unfortunately. Thankfully, most levels in this game aren't super long. Especially not this early in the game. Give myself some pets. Give myself pets. Yeah. <laughs> I can knock him around with this. <laughs> That's silly. Anyway. Yep. Whoa. I kind of lost track of what I was doing for a second there. <laughs> there we go. Given the time timestamp right now, I don't think we'll be finishing World 2 of this video, but... We'll make progress. We'll make good progress. Yeah, I'll use the one-up machine, why not? I really gotta focus more on this. 300. We'll take it. Three lives is three lives, right? What is down here? I forgot. Uh, the item house. Why do you live in a cave, bro? <laughs> you, you built your house in a cave. I guess it must be cooler down there if you live in the desert. Maybe there's some groundwater down there for him. I don't know. Right, Shadow Play Alley. This, this level's kind of... I always forget you can pick these up. I never... I always just, like, kill these piranha plants. Actually, pretty cool. Hey, there's no time limit on it or anything? It's just a thing you have? Oh, well. It was a thing I had. <laughs> I'm gonna get out here. I'm gonna avoid the big guy. There we go. Later, nerd. Let's see. Is it to pick these up? You have to be running and then run into them. Once you pick them up, you can stop running. But if you press the run button again, I guess you just throw them. Also, I have no control over what he chews. <laughs> what gets eaten by the piranha plant has no. Uh, no input by me, it just happens. Alright, good to go. Whoa! Give me fuzzies. Where's Captain Toad? Oh god, Bowser! Don't worry, Toad, I got- oh. There you go. 
Come on, Cats and Toad. You're supposed to be fearless, not be scared by a cardboard Bowser. Come on. Because every great hero needs a weakness, right? Apparently, Captain Toad's is even the visage of Bowser. I think we got time for just one more. Press down to take snapshot. Oh. Huh. Controls may be unavailable depending on where you take the picture. That is stamp. Oh. Isn't that silly? Alright then. <laughs> it's a feature I will never use. So on this level I can I can stop the rolling hills. Which uh pretty cool, not gonna lie. Not something I'm gonna remember to use very often. That's definitely a good if you're playing with multiple people kind of feature. Like one person can focus on like holding the, the thing in place. All right. So these things. So there's a buttons in certain levels. I think there's one for each character, but I think Toad has two of them, and they make stamps. It has it has to be a character specific. So Mario had to press that one. The next one, I think, is Peach, and Peach has to press that one. Yeah. No. Look around, see if there's a... Ah! Excuse me. I see sure there's a green star over here. Go ahead and do that. Just coins up here. Yeah, just coins. Ah. God, the Goompocalypse! Oh. Okay, I want to run now. Because <laughs> I'm getting swarmed. God, they're like Zerglings. Dang. Sometimes you can find hidden blocks if you uh, ground pound near them, but uh, there was not one there, so. I lost my cat suit and it makes me very sad. I lost two cat suits! Battery, that's not good. Hopefully I have enough battery to finish this level. <laughs> Got one more green star and I think it's right over here. Deceptively hiding down here. Under the, in these crates. A mushroom. Now, kind of hoping for a bell. Ah! But a long jump would be what I needed there. Fitting that I would get the tiny Mario stamp from that level. <laughs> There's the roadblock enemy in this world.
But rather than get to that, I think we're out of time for this video. I'm going to go back off camera and I'm going to get the gold flag on this level here. Because there's, there's no sense in making you watch me play the level again just to get the gold flag. So I'll do that off camera. But I'm going to do the mystery house and then the next levels and then the castle. We should finish off world 2 in the next video but anyway thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like let me know leave a comment let me know what you're thinking about the game so far let me know if you've played this game before if you've happened to have found the uh warp in world 1 or world 2 if there is one in world 2 uh, let me know i'd lo love to hear it but thank you again so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video